continuing with the way forward of the SDG4, we see that uh, that we have to look into the, the future. So there are uh, considerations for the future. Ye education jo hai, how it is uh, to be utilized for the future of the people. So UNESCO as an international organization has a lot of responsibility. It has got a lot of resources and it has a function qualifying it to promote and guide global public policy debate. Ab ye, it has the resources, it has the uh, function which uh, can bring scholars from different countries together and then they can, let's say, debate the issues uh, which are facing the, let's say, people globally. So in considering the way forward and as a call for dialogue, UNESCO has proposed the following questions for further debate. So I uh, look at each one of these and I would like to read like this. While the four pillars of learning, consent to know, to do, to be and to live together are still relevant. Although they are threatened by globalization and by the resurgence of identity politics, how can they be strengthened and renewed? So this has to be part of the debate. We see how could we overcome the threat to these pr basic principles. Then how can education respond to the challenges of achieving economic, social and economic uh, environmental sustainability. How can education respond to all these challenges? Okay. Tisra uh, hai, how can a plurality of worldviews be reconciled through a humanistic approach to education? Plurality. Okay. Cultural plurality hume nazar aati hai. Loan ki values for a ko sakti hai. Emphasis for a course, so in this variety of differences, we can reconcile reconcile kar sakte hain, jisme ke common good ki baat aaye. So we see that uh, how can such a humanistic approach be realized through educational policies and practices? Humanistic approach. We do not consider human beings as commodities but uh, as uh, living things as human being insaniyat ki baat aa so then what are the implications of globalization for national policies and decision making education uh, globalization uh, ki jo governance hai, it is affecting let's say the national policies uh, national educational policies. So, conflict jahan aa rahi hai, how could we overcome these? National uh, global governors, uh, uh, jo global governance hai, uska bagair bhi shad guzara nahi hai, but then it has to be debated. And an important issue is, how should education be financed? Okay. Ki agar Finance जो कर रहा है, जो aid दे रहे हैं, तो वो बहुत सारी strings उसमें attach कर रहे हैं, उनको रहना चाहिए, नहीं रहना चाहिए, education कौन finance करेगा, कैसे locally finance हो सकती है, nationally finance हो सकती है, या globally finance हो सकती है. Then, what are the specific implications for teacher education, training, development and sport? That's a very important issue. The pedagogy jo hai, that's important. Uske piche jo hai, ke hamara jo resource hai, wo, wo teacher hai. Uski training ki baat aa rahi hai, uski basic qualification ki baat aa rahi hai, uski continuous development ki baat aa rahi hai, how that resource is to be developed. Then what are the implications for education of the distinction 
between the concepts of the private good, the public good, and the common good. Is ka distinction hai? How do we look at that? We see that humanity has entered a new phase in its history with increasingly rapid developments in science and technology. Ye to ek kuch haki chupi baat nahi hai. Ke science and technology to bhoot aage nikal chupi hai aur and further it is developing. So, is science and technology ke dono hi chize isse aa rahi hai. It has utopian as dystopian possibilities. It can lead to, let's say, perfection of the society. It can provide all kinds of, uh, let's say, good things to the society. At the same time, it has this dysfunctional kind of uh, uh, implications. It's a disasters bhi aa rahe hain. It's mein ladaiyan bhi ho rahi hain. It's mein atom bomb bhi bane hoi hain. So, how could we reconcile these kind of situations. To benefit in an emancipatory, emancipatory, just and sustainable way, we must understand and manage the opportunities and the risks. So both, dono cheezen saath aari hain, jahan opportunities hain, jahan good things aari hain, uske saath, uske negative implications bhi ho sakte hain. So making this possible should be the fundamental purpose of education and learning in the 21st century. So UNESCO as an intellectual agency and think tank can provide the platform for such a debate and dialogue. So that is from where we have to look for the way forward. So in this way it will help help enhancing our understanding of new approaches to education policy and provision with the aim of sustaining humanity and common well-being. So idea is the common well-being, idea is about the sustainability and these are, this education is part of the, let's say, all the sustainable development goals, it, it has a central, uh, let's say, uh, role in the achievement of uh, those goals. So that is uh, how we have to look at, and UNESCO could play a very important role in finding this way forward.